another recipe for tonight. Applause. Tonight it's going to be turkey oven sandwiches. Um, they're really easy to make. You said applause, that's thank you. Shut up, you're fucking up the video, you jackass. I have an audience today. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so anyways, you want to make sure to start off by preheating the oven to 425 degrees. Uh, to get everything prepped will probably take you about 15 minutes and then it'll take about another 15 minutes to complete um, once it gets into the oven. So for tonight's uh, dinner you're going to need ground turkey or if you don't want to use ground turkey you can um, use hamburger because I get accused of using turkey a lot. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, a quarter cup of margarine uh, a little over a half a cup of shredded cheese, cheddar, or whatever kind that you like, one chopped um, stalk of celery, uh, a little over a half a cup of an onion, one chopped tomato, and then you also have, um, I forget what this is called, no I'm having an absolute brain fart, bear with me, I'm old, what can I tell you? And this is a half a teaspoon of the poultry seasoning. And then we also have a, a half a cup of sour cream and a third cup of mayonnaise or salad dressing, whatever you want to choose. So to get things started, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my pan here. And I'm going to have, put my turkey in there and get everything all nice and brown. <clears throat> Yes, the kitchen bitch is with me once again because you can hear his phone go off. Turn it off! You asshole, Miguel! was my fault this time. Uh huh. I'm just going to remember what's uh, taking place here because paybacks are a bitch. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm going to start by putting the butter in the pan and get things kind of uh, melted. Yeah. And then once that gets melted, I'll just go ahead and add the um, ground up turkey. Putting the butter in here is to kind of help things get um, brown. And while I have a moment, I like to talk about the New York Rangers, Pete. Oh, here we go. Thank you for throwing me under the bus. The curse is back on. <laughs> Just guilty by association with that e me. Damn it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add my turkey into the pan. shouldn't take very long to cook up because it's uh, already ground up so all you're going to do is just chop it up get it nice and brown. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it's cooked all the way through before you go ahead and put them into your pita shells. And you can get any kind of pita shells that you want. Um, the ones that I got are six inch. Uh, you can get regular or whole wheat. I chose whole wheat because I just wanted to be a little bit healthier today. Miguel would have no idea what to do with six inches of pita. <clears throat> I'll put six inches in your mouth, you asshole. No, I'm trying to do a cooking video here, not pornography. So I'm working on getting this nice and brown now. Once it's become 
comes nice and brown, then I can go ahead and add um, the rest of the ingredients. So you get the idea, and uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, here we are. I'm back, and the turkey is all nice and brown, as you can see. Next thing we're going to have to do is just drain this because we don't want any of the excess juice on our pita bread because it'll make it really soggy. You can still hear that. If I can hear it, it's picking it up. Okay. There we go. There is the turkey cooked. And at this point, you want to go ahead and get your pan ready, which I have done. You want to kind of lay these out kind of like a little bit of a boat. <laughs> no, yeah, like a boat. And then what you're going to do is start just um, start to just kind of compile your ingredients together. You can use your judgment as to how much you'd like to have in each pita. I like to try to make sure that I get enough of each ingredient in there so that you have a chance to taste all the different flavors. Go ahead and start with a little bit of onion. <clears throat> okay, a little bit of celery. Trying some of this without the um, poultry seasoning and some with. Stir that poultry seasoning into my remaining amount of turkey meat. And then also we want to add some tomato. And like I said, you can add as much or as little as you want. It's completely up to you. It's not like you're going to have like a shortage of ingredients by no means. And then we're going to go ahead and add the sour cream. And I'm putting the sour cream and mayonnaise on top because once it heats up in the oven, I really want this to kind of, you know, seep through and melt through to kind of blend in with all of the rest of the ingredients that I've already started to put on my pita. Add some mayonnaise. More sour cream there. And I'm going to go ahead and add cheese. We happen to like cheese in our house, so I probably will add a little extra of that as well. So there we go. <clears throat> Those are ready to be popped into the oven and we'll go ahead and bake them for 12 to 15 minutes until they're lightly brown while the ingredients have melted. Let me just smush that down just a little because I think it's going to pop it out. Turn on my timer and uh, we'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, I'm back. I'm just going to take this out of the oven so that you can see what this looks like. Move this over here. And there you go. This is the final product. And you'll notice that you want to keep it in the oven long enough so, oh, pardon me, excuse me, 
so that everything around the edges gets um, nice and brown. Mm. And there you go. There's your turkey sandwiches. Or you could use hamburger or any other kind of meat of your choice. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get one of these out of here. I always make it look so easy on the cooking shows. You ever notice that? Get that to fold over. Add a little bit of lettuce to go along with that. And whatever else that you like on your salad. And this is pretty much uh, pretty much dinner right there. So there you go. There is your turkey sandwich. And one other thing before I go. Since you didn't hear the popping of a beer can during the filmmaking, because that's what my kitchen bitch does, I decided to open up my bottle of wine and share a glass with them. Sweet bitch. Cheers. <laughs> Background applause. There you go. End of show. And I just want to end it by saying cheers to the Rangers winning the Stanley Cup. I love you, Mama, on my TV. There you go. So this is Ms. Bomi saying good night and good eats. <laughs> oh, shit. You got to kill him. <laughs> that, that, that was a good one, Ms. Bomi. I love it. Five stars. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Ms. Bomi. I just wanted to um, put a little commentary here <clears throat> at the end. I just wanted to let you know that um, in addition to the rest of the ingredients, the one that I didn't mention that they, is optional is the um, paprika, which you can um, sprinkle on top after you pull the dish out of the oven. And I also wanted to let you know that if you hear any noises in the background from the peanut gallery, I had an audience this evening via Skype, M. Gonza and Alric357. So I wanted to say thanks guys for uh, joining in and whatnot. So that's about all that I have to say, so uh, see you next time. The kitchen bitch